Hello, I'm sitting in my new 2020 Chevrolet Bolt Premier, and I wanted to help you troubleshoot an issue that I was experiencing that uh, drove me crazy, and I was unable to find a solution through either the dealership or the forums. By luck, I found the solution, and hopefully this will save you a lot of trouble if you're experiencing the same problem that I was. The issue I was experiencing was, shortly after driving off the dealership, the USB bottom outlet on the port here um, stopped working with my phone. I mean, I was getting a charge, but it wasn't transmitting data. So the Android Auto wasn't functioning. The uh, music transfer and some of the other functions were not uh, working. I then unplugged it, put it into the uh, top outlet, and that worked. Uh, that worked. And it worked for about a week. And then it stopped working. I did everything. I reset my phone. I turned the car on and off. Nothing. I went onto the Chevrolet Bolt forums. And many, many people were experiencing the same issue. But nobody was able to indicate a solution for the uh, issue. They uh, were bringing it to the dealerships. The dealerships were clueless. The manual doesn't really give much information. Um, so on a hunch, this is what I did. I bought a Amazon basic three foot long um, super speed USB cable. That's 480 megabytes per second. This is from a USB A to the um, USB C. I have a Samsung Galaxy. I believe most of them use a USB C port. So this is the USB A to USB C, which is important one meter long supersonic cable. And as you can see, um, that solved the problem. I mean, uh, when I first plugged it in, it was again experiencing the same issue. I restarted my phone and all of a sudden it started working just to make sure it wasn't a fluke. I reverted back to the, um, the USB cable that came with my Samsung Galaxy. And uh, it was, again, only um, charging the phone, but it wasn't transmitting the data through both ports. Then I plugged back in the, the cable I got from Amazon with both ports, and again, it was working. So it wasn't just um, uh, uh, luck. It was actually a, a real solution. And um, let me know if uh, this solves that problem, if you're experiencing the same uh, issue that I had, because as you know, uh, this car relies heavily on uh, Android Auto uh, and, and some of the other functions that tie into the uh, video and audio. I'm sure you can use the OnStar for the GPS, but uh, OnStar is a distant second when it compared to Android Auto. And beside that, you have to pay a, a lot for it. Whereas the uh, Android Auto is a free service with your cell phone provider. Thank you.